Hey, it's Tony here at Smart Toyota. Today, the 2022 Toyota Tundra 1794 IMAX Edition. What a gorgeous truck. This is our first one. Today's video, we're gonna walk around the outside and then we'll dive inside. But before we do that, I just wanna give you some dimensions on the outside of this thing, because it is a full-size pickup truck. So the overall length, wheel to wheel, 233 inches. Overall width, 80 inches. So it is a long and a wide truck. The bed itself is a five foot bed. The wheelbase is gonna run at 145 inches. So a nice long wheelbase for a smooth ride. And then the overall height on this comes in at 70 inches, 78 inches, sorry about that. So it is a full size truck, has a lot of room inside and great ride and towing capacity. Let's start up front and take a look at the uh, grill on the 1794. So 1794 is a luxury edition of the truck. It has a full chrome grill surround all the way down to the bottom of the bumper where it's stamped right there with Tundra. Of course, it's a hybrid, so you get the blue Toyota hybrid badge. We've got sensors down here for our dynamic radar cruise control, LED fog lights, parking assist sensors right here in the bumper, more of those chrome bumper caps. Really on the front of the Tundra, there's no front bumper anymore. It's all grill, big and bold, in your face. Tell me if you like the grill on this. Um, I kind of like it, but let me know in the comments. The headlights on here, these are the premium headlights on the 1794. So it's a full complement of LED headlights, daytime running lights, high beams, low beams, and your turn signals. Really a unique front end, big bold lights. I think it looks cool myself, but tell me in the comments what you think. Now I've got the hood pop because we're gonna go underneath it in just a minute here. But the IMAX does have this hood uh, ornament or treatment here. This is not functional, it doesn't do anything. Uh, it's there really for the look, so let me just pop the hood and I'll show you. So it does not open into the engine. It's strictly a cosmetic look and Toyota going after an aggressive look. Again, let me know in the comments if you think uh, if that uh, looks good, if you'd like to have it. The over fenders on here, these are a charcoal gray metallic painted over fender, and that's the same finish that they're using on the lower part of the bumper up here. So they kind of tie all that together and bring it around to the side. The uh, front suspension is a fully independent front su suspension with stabilizer bar, of course. We've got four wheel disc brakes. These are a 13.9 ventilated disc brakes, anti-lock brakes, traction control, stability control standard. Uh, aluminum wheels, 20, 22 inch, uh, I'm sorry, 20 inch aluminum wheels with aluminum lug nuts. These are more of a road tire, so they're not your best off-road tire, um, but will give a nice smooth ride. The tires themselves, 265 60 series, 20 inch all season tires. Now as far as treatments in terms of the styling, 1794 edition uh, body side molding with the badge and a lot of chrome on this one, including chrome mirror caps, gloss black trim around the mirrors, running up into your A pillar, LED turn signals. These are power folding mirrors, heated mirrors, blind spot monitoring. And then underneath we've got our 360 view camera right here. There's one under each mirror, one in the front grille, and then one also in the tailgate as well. Chrome trim and up and around the windows, privacy glass on the rear windows. We've got the uh, panoramic moonroof up on top here, standard on the 1794. The back window, privacy glass, rear window defrost, and then that slides up and down. Third brake light up here. There's a bed light. There's your shark fin antenna up there. There is a camera in there as well. And there's a look at the rear suspension. Now for 2022, the uh, Tundra has an all new suspension. It's a multi-link rear suspension. Hopefully you can see it there. So no more leaf springs on the Tundras. Also a full size spare tire is a standard. It's not the same wheel that you find on the ground, but it's important to have a full size spare tire if you are doing some towing. Sliding around to the back, LED tail lights, those are kind of a sequential tail light. Really, really cool look at night. As we take a look at the back here, we've got Tundra stamped into the bed. 
Toyota in the handle, chrome. Here's that camera I mentioned earlier. Here's a bumper light or a step light, so that lights up the ground. So if you're messing with a trailer at night, you're gonna have some additional light back here. Slip resistant step bumper, LED lights here, backup lights here, parking sensors. We do have seven and four pin pre-wired. It's a class four trailer towing hitch uh, with your receiver. Here's another quick look up underneath at the uh, suspension. And you can see there's your exhaust coming out the side here. And that does have a chrome exhaust tip standard on the 1794. This here is your step. So that's really an interesting feature. So there's this one has the uh, side steps and also the rear bumper st uh, step. I'll show you here. So when you open up the tailgate, you can either push this button here, you can grab the handle, or you can use your keys. But if you push in that, that comes up and down and so does that there. Um, that's part of a $1,300 option for your running boards. So you get both of those for, I think, $1,350. And then your tailgate does not go up automatically. You need to lift it up. This one has a spray-in bed liner, but it's may or may not be necessary because this is a composite bed, uh, reinforced aluminum composite bed, uh, five foot bed. You can see there's bed lights there, there's tie down cleats that go all the way around the perimeter. We've got a tie down hooks in all four corners. And then we've got a 120 volt outlet here. And then you can also get a tonneau cover, a hard tonneau cover. And if you go that route, then you also have a locking tailgate for added security for 2022 the tundra comes with two different engines actually two of the same engines but different power plants so both of them have a uh, 3.5 liter 24 valve twin turbo v6 engine so the gas engine the same but on the 1794 imax this has the hybrid system and so if you see the orange cabling up through there leading over to this motor here that's your hybrid mechanicals. The engine is and transmission together uh, achieve 437 horsepower, uh, 583 foot-pounds of torque. It's connected to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy combined is about 20 miles per gallon city and highway. So not like a super fuel efficient vehicle, but a ton of power. Um, of course, you do have warranties to cover the engine, five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty, engine and transmission. The hybrid system has a one, uh, eight year, 100,000 mile mechanical uh, protection, and then a 10 year, 150,000 mile uh, powertrain or um, battery for the hybrid battery, the warranty on that. Uh, no deductible on any warranty. Toyota also gives you Toyota Care which covers your basic maintenance so your oil changes, your fluid top-offs, your tire rotations. Toyota covers those for two years or 25,000 miles, whichever comes first. Of course, the standard uh, setup on here is the four-wheel drive uh, system with the two-speed transfer case. The vehicle itself has a three-year, 36,000-mile limited warranty. Uh, no deductible on that either. Let's uh, go ahead and dive inside and take a look at the interior. Behind the wheel of the 1794 definitely feels like a luxury vehicle. Uh, I don't think Cadillac makes a vehicle as luxurious as this. And check out how much space there is. So I've got my uh, camera almost up against my nose so you can see just how spacious it is up front here. And then take a look at the legroom. I've got the driver's seat all the way back. I could not drive this truck. My legs don't go that far. So there's plenty of room for six footers. Take a look at the steering wheel. This is leather wrapped. It's heated as well. You've got fingertip controls on this side for your dynamic radar cruise control, lane tracing assist, our cruise control settings. Over on this side, we've got fingertip controls for our information center, uh, fingertip controls for your smartphone, Bluetooth connectivity. So you can really do a lot without taking your hands off the steering wheel. Uh, over on this side are the wiper controls. We do have intermittent front wipers. We also have rain sensing wipers. So they actually turn themselves on and off depending on the moisture 
uh, up on the windshield. Over here are your fog light controls, headlight controls. We do have auto on and off for your headlights. Uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. I wanna show you this gauge cluster, it's pretty cool. But we have push button start. So in order to use that, I need to put my foot on the brake, but I gotta move the seat ahead first so I can actually reach it. There we go. So foot on the brake and then just push the brake pedal in and hold it. And the interesting thing about the hybrid system is sometimes when you go to start it, the engine, the gas engine will not start. It doesn't need it. It'll go in electric mode. Other times the gas engine will start, which is what it just did. And so this is a virtual gauge cluster. This is all, it's like a computer screen essentially. And you can see um, down in there that there's a variety of settings. That's our tack we see there. So we've got a voltmeter, we've got an engine oil pressure, engine oil temperature, uh, engine temperature gauges. There's a lot of different um, capabilities. You've got a trip computer in there. So a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to spend a lot of time compass going over it, outside temperatures, clocks, but this is the upgraded system and it actually gives you the ability also if you want to manage or monitor your hybrid system and what's going on with that. That can all be done through the uh, information center as well. So really interesting to look at. Probably not as interesting looking at it on my camera as in person, but uh, let's uh, take a quick look at the uh, passenger compartment. So as far as the center stack here, this is a 14 inch tablet style center stack. Apparently it's the largest one available in uh, a vehicle in Toyota's lineup now. Um, you notice we also have wireless charging. I've got my phone wireless charging right now. So a huge system. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to demonstrate all of it, but um, rest assured you have navigation on there. You have, um, if I go over to the music end, let's jump in here. We have Sears satellite radio. We have AM, AM and FM, of course. Um, you get three months of the platinum ser uh, service for the Sears satellite radio, but it is a huge system and there's a lot to cover. So stop by the dealership. One of our sales consultants can give you the full story behind this uh, center stack. Before I head down, but further down, I did want to uh, let you know about a storage area up here with a 12 volt outlet. So if you're running maybe a dash cam or a radar detector, there's a great place to plug that in. And then also, as far as speakers go, you can see there's tweeters up here in the A pillar. This does have the JBL audio system, so you pick up those extra speakers as well. So moving further down the center uh, console, we do have independent front and passenger uh, temperature controls for your um, heating and air conditioning system. We also have front window defrost, rear window defrost with heated outside mirrors. Um, here's our heated seat controls. Here's our ventilated seat controls. And those are for both front driver and front passenger. Uh, we also have a USB plug here. So if you did, did need to plug something in, you've got an opportunity right there. Coming further down, here's our trailer towing um, control. Here's our 360 view control. That's interesting when you push that, it actually does a perimeter scan of there. But then when you're driving the vehicle, you also get a 360 degree view over, over uh, overhead if you want that too. You can see that there. So again, there's a lot of different features, part of this huge center control, different views that you can set up. It's really designed for towing as well. So you really get a great view of everything uh, from a towing perspective. Let me shift this back into park. Traction control on and off, four ways. Uh, this one does have the height adjustable suspension, load leveling suspension, that's an extra charge. That's what those switches are for. Uh, trailer uh, braking system is here. We've got electronic parking brake, parking brake hold. Um, I mentioned earlier, this is a 10 speed automatic transmission. Let me turn that off. Leather wrap shifter, wireless charging for your smartphone. Just drop it right in there and away you go. It starts charging. The uh, 1794 has wood treatments throughout and there's cup holders underneath there. Down here are our selectors for our four wheel drive, uh, our drive modes, and then our tow haul mode here. So if we wanna to toggle through some of our drive modes, we can do it with this switch. 
and there is an indicator up on the gate up on the cluster right here as I kind of turn through here comfort ride sport ride sport s custom and then it also shows it the ride up here as well in terms of the drive mode so a lot of interesting animations to tell you what's going on you do get two uh, these keyless remotes there's a storage compartment here there's a another one here with a lid on it great place to drop your wallet or your pocket change that's all wood there these are uh, leather wrapped as well and this opens up you can open it on both sides and then a huge storage compartment down here look at how much room there is there's two usb charging ports here including a usb-c place for your coins so a lot of places to hide and stow stuff this is not lockable though so just keep that in mind take a look over on the passenger side very very similar to the driver side there is that passenger assist handle makes it easy to get in and out more of the wood treatment and then this has 1794 uh, embossed in the uh, wood and this is all fabric here with kind of a, char a chocolate and then kind of a brown finish as well large glove box which is locking pops open of course you do get the owner's manuals lots and lots of room places to hide stuff overhead we've got um, that panoramic moonroof with the shade so the shade can be opened automatically and then it also you see it goes all the way back there pretty cool but I like this because you can also open up that window back there take a look at how much light you have coming in there and then we do have the sunroof that can be automatically opened up as well so almost like a convertible if you open that sunroof drop a few windows pop open the back window get a lot of air flowing through feels like a convertible without all the leaks then overhead more stuff holy cats mood lighting on and off reading lights safety connect place for your sunglasses automatic dimming rearview mirror it does have the virtual mirror it's kind of like a little uh, television or uh, computer screen if you will if you want to look out the back you can see that pretty cool or you can go old school also garage door openers built right in the in there so just a lot of luxury comfort convenience fe features but you, I guess you'd expect that for $71,000 let's uh, go ahead and jump in the back seat and check it out well, heading into the back seat I love how big these doors are it's super wide easy to get in and out of just one or two extra features on the back doors uh, there is a retractable shade here that you can pop up latch on so if you've got little ones or your your groceries are back here and you want to get it out of the sun you're going to be able to do that also the back doors have two speakers so one here and one there where the front door just had the one here but you still get bottle holders still storage cubbies power window switches here the uh, 1794 edition does come standard with 1794 edition floor mats kind of a fabric and a all-weather floor mat combination so really nice look and feel to those that's included the back seats of course are leather just like up front take a look at how much leg room there is in the back seat here now this is the hybrid edition so the back seat does come up but there's no storage underneath here on the 1794 because that's where your battery is all stowed underneath there so you can bring it up if you need to haul something big and you don't want to set stuff on top of the seats it's a good way to just pop the seat up and do that and then it drops down just like so i'm going to go ahead and climb inside here it is a bit of a step so these handles are handy Two pockets one on the back of each seat take a look at the leg room holy cats i've got this seat almost all the way forward because i'm a shorty but that's a good uh foot maybe right there cup holders here vents heated ventilated seats for your outboard back seat passengers all right there usb ports down here 120 volt plug right there so you're going to be able to plug in your laptops your computers what have you uh, what else more lights folding armrest right here with cup holders right here and then we've got uh, three headrest in the back here pretty nice and handy um, three seat belts child safety seats can be put back here as well 
Uh, it's interesting the back of the headrest here have gray inserts as opposed to the the uh, brown leather interior so kind of a little bit of a contrast but it fits in real well with the uh, center console and stuff so that's a quick look at the back seat let's jump out